Hey guys and gals. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? On this journey that we have been forced into <laughs> that none of us wanted to be on. This has been a very difficult month for me. The last week has been really, really hard. I wasn't even going to make a video, but I realized that if I wait until I feel like making a video, <laughs> that may never come. So, <laughs> uh, I'm feeling rough today. It's been a hard, hard few weeks, physically and mentally. You know, <laughs> when you're physically down, it's a lot easier to be physically down as well. I mean, mentally down. When you don't feel good physically, mentally, you're just like, you don't even have the strength to <laughs> think. So, yeah, I'm very tired. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make a really quick video to mention bad times like this. Sometimes you just have really rough weeks or days or months. <laughs> I guess we're bad years too. <laughs> uh, this has been a bad year so far. I don't like this new life. I don't like this new life at all that I have been so forcefully forced into. It's a whole new world and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Not at all. Oh wow, it gets overwhelming to think that this is my life now. No help, no husband, no no best friend to be there every day to talk to or hug or cook for or take care of. I think it really hit me hard this week that life is going to be a lot harder from now on. <sighs> a lot harder. And <clears throat> what can you do? It is what it is, right? I've been very sad lately and definitely have cried very hard um, the last few days. I think when the numbness starts to wear off, it starts to hurt worse, a lot worse. Oh, you start to feel the pain when some of the shock wears off. And that is a new experience. <laughs> right? I just got triggered a lot. Noticing things around the house. That my husband could easily take care of. Now what once was easy is going to be very difficult. We have triggers like that. Sometimes they can just set you off. And you feel that pain all over again. 
So I guess you guys have probably noticed we have to do a lot more on our own now. And I don't just mean like going places or eating dinner, I mean everything. Little things kind of get to you. Uh, it just uh, yesterday, I needed help so badly because I have a, a very weak back and I hurt my back really bad yesterday. I was laying on ice most of the night and it still hurts really bad. My husband used, he was very protective of my back because I've had such a bad back for so many years. And now I don't have him here to pick up things for me or scrub the floor for me or all the things he used to do. Move a table for me. All I did yesterday was I, sw I swept the floor and I scrubbed the cat cage a little bit for my new kittens and I threw my back out really bad and I just had a breakdown after that because he wasn't there to help me and then I noticed that our little cat house my husband built a cat house for me well for us we had a little bit of an animal sanctuary where we rescued cats and that was kind of our passion. And so he built this tiny house just for the cats. And uh, now it needs a lot of repairs and he's not here to do it. There was two holes in the screen on their porch that I noticed yesterday and that just triggered me and I cried so long because now he's not here to repair it he could have done that in like an hour and I don't know how to do that and even if I do figure out a way which I will going to be a lot harder because now I have to do it or my poor dad has to do it and he doesn't feel like doing stuff like that anymore and it's just scary when I think of a future of how I won't have help anymore it's overwhelming I'm sure for you ladies out there who have lost a spouse that used to take care of you and your house, you know what I mean. It's very painful when you lose your handyman. Most of these things, I don't know how to do. That's what the husband was there for. And for those of you guys that lost your wife, Maybe she cooked for you and now you really miss the meals. Or maybe, maybe she did the laundry or packed your lunch or just took care of you. I know my husband would have missed a lot of things if I had been the one to die. It's just really hard when everything suddenly is, it's no longer shared, it's all on you. <laughs> and when you're grieving, you don't wanna do anything anyway. And so it's very hard. <sighs> so I just want you to know that I understand that pain and that sorrow 
and that heavy feeling of having to do everything thing on your own now. Especially if you don't have family around that can help you. It's a lot to take on. I know some of you guys will probably have to go back to work to take care of yourselves. This is a hard journey. <sighs> One day at a time. One day at a time. Well, I will end here. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that sometimes you just have really bad stretches where you're just sad or depressed or just feeling really low. I'm having one of those months. <laughs> having a lot of health struggles right now, so it's making it a lot harder. But <sighs> one minute at a time, right? <laughs> And we, we will get through it. I remember my high school principal used to say, what's the worst that could happen? You die, you go to heaven. <laughs> if you know Jesus, that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Well, I don't really like the dying part so much, but <laughs> going to heaven wouldn't be bad at all. That would be okay. And I hope you guys do know Jesus so you can go to heaven. We definitely don't look forward to that dying part, but... Looks like there's no escaping it, doesn't it? <laughs> the only way we could escape that is if we go in the rapture, but one of my teachers also used to say, none of us are getting out of this alive. So we just have to make the most of our days. And sometimes that's hard when you don't feel good or you're just sad or you're depressed. I, I'm, I'm not really making a whole lot of my days right now. Uh, but you know, it's okay. During this time, you don't really have to focus on a whole lot except just making it through the day and just taking care of yourself, okay? That's really all we need to be doing right now. Especially in that first year of grief. Just take care of yourself. <sighs> and your kids if you have them, and your pets. And we will take the next step as it comes. <laughs> I'm not ready for another step right now. <laughs> I'm just not. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys take care and maybe, just maybe, tomorrow, the next day, we'll bring something, something good, even if it's just a teeny tiny something good. I will talk to you guys soon and uh, I wish I could give you all a hug until next time hold on okay